I've always told you that I won't buy from this brand because I won't play the game and I stand by that even though I have had my head turned just recently as a lot of you know. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you are new, welcome and if you're one of my regulars, welcome back. We are here today to discuss Hermes. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous coffee cup that one of you sent me and I, I've never used it, do you know that? Because I cherish it so much I don't want to ruin it or break it or anything like that. And whenever I see the box or see the cup inside, it reminds me of you. Shall I show you what it looks like? So nice. This is from Donna. Donna, I don't know whether you still watch, but if you do, I still have it, I still treasure it. This is the cup. Oh my God, I just, I love it. Absolutely love it. Brand new. Anyway, let's discuss our meds. So I'm gonna talk to you about a bit of an update that's happened recently. And some of you, if you've been following me and you've been watching the vlogs recently, you already know what that is. But for any of you who haven't, if maybe you've missed them, uh, or anything like that. This is kind of my story in regards to Hermes. So I have had a lot of you over the years asking me why it is that I don't buy from there and why specifically I don't actually have any bags from Hermes. And I've always explained that my primary reason is to do with the fact that you more often than not have to play the game with Hermes in order to even be considered. And I've explained to you that the game is not one that I'm willing to play. <laughs> it's not one that I'm interested in playing. Um, and that's my reason for not having bought anything from Hermes. If you didn't have to play a game, would I buy from there? Yes and no. Now the no is that a lot of their stuff aesthetically is not very my style. I really like Dior. Dior is my vibe, that's my thing. When it comes to Hermes, they're ready to wear or various other pieces, they're really, really beautiful, but they're not very my style. And that is, that is pretty much my secondary reason for not having bought in there. So it's not to say I don't like their stuff, it's not to say that it's unattractive, it's just that it's not my personal style. If Hermes were Chanel, I would have the biggest customer profile ever. I just love everything in Chanel, even though it's very expensive in there now. I just pretty much love everything. But Hermes, it's not really my, my vibe. You know, it doesn't really do it for me. But there is an exception to the rule, and it is the Constance. Now, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month ago, I did a vlog, and I showed you I went into Hermes in Harrods with my husband David. And I'd gone in there specifically looking for a swimsuit, which they didn't have. But while I was in there, I spotted on the shelf, but in this glass cabinet, this gorgeous Constance. And forever, I have always said to you, wouldn't buy any of their bags, but boy, would I buy a Constance. I really would. I just wouldn't play the game in order to get one. But anyway, I saw this Constance and there was a really nice salesperson working in there who came over and said, hi, and can I help you? And I said to her, what's the chances of getting one of those? And I, I felt apprehensive in asking the question because I'm gonna tell you like a really short story in one second about something that happened in a mez to me that put me off um, going back in there really. Uh, but. I was a bit apprehensive, but I said to her, look, I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm, be honest, I'm not like a major customer here. I own a, I didn't tell her this, but I own a trinket dish, a click H bracelet and a belt. I'm not a big customer. And I said to her, you know, I'm not a big customer. So I almost felt bad asking about this bag when I have no right to ask about it because I don't buy anything from in there. But she was so nice. And she was like, no, you know, you don't have to be a customer in order to be selected for these bags, it can happen. You can put in a wish list and you hear back and you get your bag and you haven't bought anything before. It's just the luck of the draw. So I was like, okay, this is quite interesting. Anyway, she was so nice. She helped me put together a wish list there and then. She was like, what color do you want? What hardware color do you want? What leather, what size of bag? And I was just like, I don't even know what size, I think it comes in two sizes. And I just thought, I don't even know, I'll take whatever comes my way. So I left it at that. And that was it. She said, now we wait, we see what happens. Now, if I rewind four years, 
The thing that happened to me in Hermes that put me right off was that I'd gone uh, to buy a belt. I was looking round, kind of low-key fancied an Hermes belt, saw one that I really liked. And um, I asked for some assistance because I needed to get the belt in the right size. And I was being served by an SA who went off to get the, the belt in the size in question. And I'm not joking you, just a bit over 45 minutes later, he hadn't come back. And I thought, well, he's taken a while. I mean, he was so long that myself and my husband had actually sat down by the tills at this point because it, it was that long. And I thought, this is ridiculous. And it was in the evening and we were going out for dinner. That's how I know it was over 45 minutes long. I remember it very clearly. And David said, you know, we're gonna have to go soon in order to make dinner. And I said to him, we've been here 45 minutes what's another 10 you know i i need to find out where this belt is at and at this point i didn't even care about the belt anymore but i went looking around for this salesperson and he was helping someone else i felt like such a fool you know just sat there kind of waiting for someone who washed their hands of you long ago it did feel um, i i i felt stupid i did feel stupid <laughs> i felt felt a bit stupid anyway someone else came to help me I bought the belt and um, that was that but it didn't give me a warm fuzzy feeling whenever I thought about the brand thereafter it didn't make me want to rush back in store to have that experience again and I didn't know whether that experience was is what Hermes is like as a brand or whether it was just that one person on that one day maybe he was having a bad day maybe I wasn't spending enough for him to for it to justify his time I'm not sure but the person, the girl who served me about the constants was so nice. She turned my opinions round about the brand. She really did. She, she was just, you know when you get people who should be the face of a brand because they're so nice, it makes you think, yeah, I want to come in here some more because you're really nice. So that's what happened with that. And will I be playing the game in order to get the constants? No. So my kind of viewpoint on this has always been that I don't like the game. I don't like how you need to kind of, it's like an unspoken rule. You need to spend sometimes thousands of pounds on bits and bobs that you don't really need, like scarves or trinket dishes or perfume, I, I you know, and everything in between. And it's not... It's not something that I personally would want to do and it's not something that I would do. If the Constance bag happens, that would be amazing. I'll be so pleased. But if it doesn't happen, it's not going to keep me up at night. I'm not going to get upset. And um, I was actually saying that to a lot of you in the comments underneath that vlog video. You know, I said to you, I'm not going to play the game. If it comes through and I haven't had to play the game, that's amazing. But if it never happens, so be it. You know, it's a bag at the end of the day. Yes, I really love it, but I'm not gonna break my neck to get it. Now, one thing I am gonna do in order to see whether this has any effect on my chances of getting allocation is I need to go in there and amend that wish list because I said I would take the small or the large and the small is gonna to be too small for my stuff. So I need to go and amend it because you know what? It would be just my luck if it did turn up one day and I got in the shop and I went to put my stuff in it, to try it for size, nothing fitted. It would be just my luck. So I think I am gonna go and amend the wish list, And it gives me the opportunity to ask after the lady that served me last time, it gives me the opportunity to potentially ask her for her details if she's willing to give them so I can stay in touch on it because that's something I didn't do when I went in I was so caught up in the moment I forgot to say oh can I grab your details like is that okay um but also I wonder whether amending the wish list does that push you back up a little bit does that does it hit refresh for you or anything like that does anything like that happen is that how it works or does it completely not work that way have any of you set up different accounts and created multiple wish lists does that work i'm not sure but as i say if it happens it happens if it doesn't happen i won't be kept up at night thinking about it so that is my position on the constants 
That is the one bag that turned my head many years ago. The Kelly and the Birkin, mm, I don't love them. I wouldn't buy them. The Constance is different though. Um, but as I say, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If you have enjoyed hanging out, come and join me in another video. I'm actually gonna put just up here, uh, that video where I went to Hermes with my husband, um, I'm gonna put that in there for any of you who missed that. You might want to like watch it and catch up with that. Um, or if you've already seen that, I'll put another video here. Um, and maybe you haven't seen this video. If so, I hope that you come and join me over there. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.